care so much more than we all deserve. And in doing so, you inspire me to be a better version of myself. You're my compass, my sounding board. You know who you are and what you want in ways I rarely do. Finding the beat of our heart in another gives full expression and greater resonance to our own identity. It provides a sense of home that we may never find alone. So I know that you guys are gonna be able to love and support each other through whatever comes next because I've literally watched you do it this entire time. What I really admire about you is that in a world that is so often indifferent, that falls so easily into apathy and inaction, you care. in the universe, but I've never worried about my place next to you. I think both of us have a tendency towards the melancholy. Not that we're sad people, just that we're maybe drawn to it. We fell in love just listening to sad songs and musing about our insignificant place in the stars. I don't know what the next chapter of our lives holds, but I am thrilled to know, above all else, that we'll be taking that next step with you. You're the only person who can listen to me talk until I don't want to talk we anymore. Could have it all. to live in a home together and I got to watch you build a home in each other and that's great. So choose the Haley at the end. You're gonna do great. Right before stone he is a first time pet owner now who seems to have embraced his role of helping care for and entertain Haley's pet rats. And I did say pet rats, it's a neuroscience thing you'll have to ask her about. So it's like rats. There are currently recent three of them uh, that named measles, mumps, and rubella. Which is also to say, if it wasn't already clear, that Ian and Healy are hilarious. Winter,